Welcome to the third episode of If You're Like Me. I am your host, Nick Gibbons. Um, today's a great episode. We talk about uh, crab cakes. We talk about uh, artwork. A lot of fun stuff. So stay tuned right after this intro. Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of If You're Like Me. I am your host Nick Gibbons. Uh, I, uh, I am the uh, only person they could get to host because uh, my name is Nick Gibbons and it's in the title of the show. Uh, it's, it, there are other Nick Gibbons out there and when I was on Facebook I was actually friend with, friends with two other Nick Gibbons. I didn't know them at all but, but since we shared the same name we felt a bond with each other. Um, th they weren't available to host this show so hey, you got me. Um, you know I noticed that the second video of this series Series, uh, got the what I call the YouTube curse. Uh, it's when you're doing a series of videos. Um, the first one does pretty good. Uh, for me, it's pretty good. It was almost 300 views, which is fantastic for me. Uh, it doesn't get you get you like one millionth of a cent in YouTube dollars. Uh, but uh, for me, hey, I was all right. It's not too bad. Second video, half as many views. That happens every time. Every time I do a series of anything, the first one is gets great reviews, people love it, they watch it, there's lots of views, and the second one always half as many. Um, I don't know what that says about me as a person or, or anything like that, I'll do, but whatever, man. Hey, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna barrel through this. Uh, this one will get a th uh, three-fourths of the views that the second one got, if, if my math is correct. Let's watch it, it will be fun to see how uh, much this declines. <laughs> Good times. But I'm here and I'm, I'm ready for you people. I love talking to you. Uh, I don't know what's behind me this time. Um, here's the thing about backgrounds. I gotta find some public domain backgrounds. So they're not gonna be uh, it, it, that interesting. It's probably gonna be a lot of trains uh, and pictures and videos of trains because I don't wanna put, I don't wanna find, there's public domain vi uh, videos with people in them, but then you get into trouble. Uh, and also I'm putting music under this too. I think there's gonna be music playing, but it's all public domain or free to use music, which there's not a lot of that out there, uh, but I'm using it. And so what, uh, what you find is uh, if, you, if you put like, you know, copyrighted anything on your video, you will get slapped by the YouTube copyright police, police or as I call them, the copyright. You know, I'm talking about little not they're little Nazis about the copyright stuff, which they should be. I mean, it's the, you don't want to put other people's music and stuff on your on your uh, on your thing uh, because uh, that's bad. Because other people made that stuff, yeah, they, they, they want to make money off of it. So, not that the thing is though, I'm not making any money off of this, and I, I won't because I don't get enough views. So, it's really it's a catch twenty two at this point. Uh, but anyway, um, if you my my point is, if you have some uh, like ten or twenty second loopable video footage that you want to send to me uh, that I could put behind me on this thing, please do. Uh, email it to me at, uh, if you're like me, the show at gmail.com. Maybe I'll put your video behind me at some point. Uh, just don't have any people in it, please, because that's distracting. Uh, and uh, But if it's a serene park with some wind blowing or something fun like that, I'll stick it behind me. Also, music. If you have any music that you've written that's, uh, you know, kind of, you know, could be put in under the under the show a little bit to give it a little bit of pizzazz, send that to me. I'll put it under here. Give you credit. Uh, it'll be great. It'll be great fun. Speaking of credit, I just wanted to say uh, hello to Kyle. Kyle uh, sent me a nice message. Uh, he asked me about crab cakes, what my what my views were on crab cakes. I don't like the name. I like crab cakes to eat. Do not like the name crab cakes because it signifies that there will be cake involved. There's no cake involved, and if there was a cake that had crab in it, I would uh, spit it out because that sounds disgusting. Nothing sounds more gross to me than chocolate cake full of crabs. So that's my views on crab cakes. And I want to say, Kyle, welcome to my cult. Uh, he was uh, sort of in his email. He was saying that this is kind of like a cult. Uh, I'm, I, I don't think I would make a very good cult leader. Uh, I'm not in very good shape. I'm not as charismatic as you probably need to be as, for a cult leader. But uh, welcome to the fold, Kyle. Uh, and I want to say thank you to Spotty. Um, who pointed out to me that indeed the reason the show has been so echoey is because my dumb ass forgot to hit the little switch that switched it to this mic. So the whole time it was the camera mic, which is stupid. Uh, I, I don't even know why that switch was thrown 
to begin with. I blame gremlins or some sort of a troll came in here and did that. Uh, but now we've got it fixed. Hopefully the audio will be mwah, so nice on this one. Still waiting for my uh, uh, foam things to come in and still waiting on my my uh, mug. But it should be here. I should have both those things for the next episode. Hurrah! Um, also, I have a t-shirt coming my way. One of uh, one of my friends, Goat vs. Fish, which you should follow him on Instagram and all his social medias, Goat vs. Fish. Look it up. He's a great guy. Um, he's sending me a t-shirt to wear. It should be here soon. I'll wear it on the show. If you have a t-shirt uh, you want me to wear on the show, send it my way. I'll do it. I'll wear it up. Um, so what are we I'm looking at my show notes here? Oh yeah. I've, I've talked about all that. You know what I, I, I noticed today? Because we made some pulled pork. We made a little, uh, we for the Super Bowls happened. Uh, I don't want to date my videos because I'm a married man. But the Super Bowl was just happening. And uh, so we made some slider. We made some pulled pork sliders. And uh, oh, I love it. I love using the crock pot. It's the best thing to cook things in because you just put it there. And then it's like a surprise later. You forget that there's food in there. And eight hours later, you got food. It's amazing. Uh, so we made these, but I did notice that my crock pot, and I think a lot of crock pots are like this, the, the fucking cord on a crock pot is like this long. Like what do they, what do they think we're, I mean, you, you need more than this much cord to plug something, it's, you gotta, it's gotta be basically installed on your wall, the crock pot is. So please, crock pot manufacturers, please, for the love of God, make a longer cord, cause you gotta, I'm gonna be in a chili cook-off, there'll be several crock pots, you know, with their various sundries of chili in them. Uh, we, we're not gonna, we're, we can't put them on top of each other, we need some space. And besides, they use a lot of power, I don't wanna be using a, a, an electric uh, extension cord, they're gonna get hot, it's gonna melt. And then there's gonna be a fire, and everyone at the chili cook-off is gonna be fucking dead. And it's your fault, crockpot manufacturers. So just make a longer, longer cord. Also, someone sent some artwork in. I wanted to show it with you. It's a beautiful rendering of my face. Thank you. And I'm gonna say your I'm gonna say your name wrong, not on purpose. Inna or Ina? Maybe you can. Uh, message me back with the correct pronunciation, like a, you know, what is that called when you do the, in a, the dictionary they have those phonetic spellings, that's what it is, phonetic spellings of the word of your name so I can pronounce it correctly. Here's the, she so sent me a picture of my face, there's the face. Uh, that particular episode I had a picture of a Piggly Wiggly shirt, so there was also another image of there, uh, uh, and I don't know how I feel about this one, but I'll show it to you anyway. Uh, yeah, so there's a little pig face, I don't know what she's saying about me and my fat my fat face, but uh, thank you for that beautiful pictures. Please, if you have any more artwork, send it to me. I'd love to show it. I'd love to display all you well, wonderfully talented people out there in the Nick Gibbons, uh, if you're like me, community. That's what I'm calling it. It's a long name. It's a mouthful. Uh, it won't look good on a t-shirt, so, uh, but that's fine. Uh, merchandise is way down the line on these guys, folks. So, uh, you know, my buddy Patrick, who is a fan of As Seen On, uh, he sent me uh, two suggestions, and he said, he said I should use my, my buddy Francis. She was a producer on the on that scene on to help me with this. But it's just I don't know what I would let let her do. I don't know that you can't. It's just sort of a one man operation, uh, and I don't have any money to pay anybody, so I can't really do that. He also suggested I had a sidekick, like a little some sort of mini me or some sort of a, another comedian friend, just either virtually you're here with me to bounce off stuff, but I, I don't, I'm not a good, I, I'm, I'm a good sidekick. If you are the main guy and I'm with you, I will, I know when to shut up, I know when to talk, I'm, I'm a good sidekick. But as far as a main guy with a sidekick, I'm not, I don't know, do good at, with that for some reason. I'm not, I'm, it's, I gotta, my brain needs to stay focused. So, uh, someone's printing something on the printer over here. So you may hear that, but you may not, I don't know. Oh, the printer's making a noise. Sometimes my printer just randomly makes noise for no reason at all that I can figure out. I don't know if it just, it's lonely and, or it's just shaking, you know, it's just like stretching. I don't know if uh, printers have to stretch, uh, but it just did that and no, nothing's coming out. So that's weird. Anyway, uh, false, a uh, little false flag printing over here. Um, what else we got here? Um, you know, we. Uh, I, I, I think I put on Insta, in the grams a picture of my our new hamster, Ham Ham. 
Um, you know what I'm trying not to do in this episode is itch my arm because apparently uh, I had poison ivy in the last video because I, I counted, I like scratched, I OCD scratched my hand like a thousand times in the video so I'm trying not to do that this time. It doesn't even itch. It, does, it didn't itch in the video. I, it was like a nervous twitch or something. Uh, I'm not doing it though. I'm keeping away. No itching in this video. I'm improving. Each one is going to be better for you people. I want you to enjoy it. But I wanted to talk about Ham Ham, our hamster, whose name is Fuddy, Fuzzy Butt, or Fuzzy Bottom. Uh, but we call him Ham Ham, her Ham Ham. Uh, I, I love Ham Ham. She's so sweet. She's a sweet little hamster. She hasn't bitten anybody yet. Uh, but I do, I look in those little eyes of hers and I could just see um, how much, you know, she'd love to have babies uh, for lunch. Because, you know, those guys, those motherfuckers eat their babies. I don't know how that helps propagate their species. It's a very weird thing they do with their kids. Because that you, how you keep doing that, you're not going to have any more hamsters. You're not going to have a lineage. Uh, so it, it, humans had to step in and say, wait a second, hammies, stop eating your babies. We can't sell you to kids for three bucks uh, and then you die in a week and they come back and get another one if you're going to eat your babies. Um, so I don't understand what, how genetically that's a, a, a good thing for the hammies to do. But you can tell their eyes, man. They want to, they love delicious babies. Oh, someone's coming in um, right now. But they, they shouldn't. They shouldn't come in. They shut the door. You see, that's working from home. There's going to be some hiccups in, in these things. And that's what, this is uh, live to tape. It's, it's, gonna, it's bound to happen. But we're at the end of this one. And I, if they would have come in, I would have just gave, given them a, a word beating. A, 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 a brow, I would have browbeat the fuck out of them if they would have came in. Anyway, they didn't. So that's good. They're safe for now. For now. Uh, also, one more thing before I go. I wanted to, um, I had a question because I noticed this. Uh, we were watching uh, uh, did some Disney show and they were having a luau and I noticed that and I see this at luau's all the time when they have the pig there uh, the pig they roll the pig out you know and it's got that apple in its mouth and I couldn't help but think why are why do so many pigs get killed while eating an apple it's the craziest thing it happens a lot apparently uh, I'm just like stay away from apples pigs it's a it's a death trap so that's all I got for you this time, folks. Please, uh, again, if you got a t-shirt, send me a large, uh, uh, reach out to me on, on Instagram or on YouTube or any of the, uh, except for Facebook, I'm on Facebook. I might go back, I might go back to get some more sweet, sweet views from you people, uh, from you different people that don't know that this is here because I'm off of Facebook. Um, but anyway, uh, send me a, a t-shirt if you have a band or if you have um, your artist or if you have anything. I'd love to wear your t-shirt on the show. Uh, it's a large and I will uh, give you my address if you DM me in some form or fashion. Also send me a background, that'd be fun. Uh, it's got to be a loopable thing with no people in it, please. I don't want to, that's, that's a whole nother legal thing I got to untangle. Uh, music too, send me your music. Uh, maybe a 10 second song for the intro. Uh, maybe you want to animate an intro for me, 10 seconds, that would be great as well. Um, I'd love to, to utilize you people's talent to help make this thing uh, a wonderful community full of artistic and, and lovely people that just love to uh, feed a machine of something. Maybe you don't have an outlet for your creativity. Let me be your outlet. Let me help you get your stuff into the world. Guaranteed 25 people will see it. Guar I guess that, that's a Nick Gibbons, if you're like me, guarantee. 25 people at least will watch it. Uh, one of them will be my mom. She won't help you at all with your career. Uh, I was going to have have her uh, call in on this show but then I but I just remembered that I just now realized that so that won't be happening on this show but I guarantee you that another guarantee two guarantees in one show right at the end next show mom's gonna be here uh, I'll, I'll call her on the phone and we'll, we will talk to mom I'll put the put it right up here I just realized I just figured out how to do it I'll put the speaker phone up to the mic so we can share a mic uh, so I don't have to set up anything else like I said I got a new light I set up a new light for this episode. Oh man, we're just, we're, we're, now we're cooking with gas, guys. It's a real show. It is happening. So send me your, your uh, queries, your, your emails, to, uh, things you want me to talk about, uh, may, uh, things you want me to review, product reviews, shows you want me to talk about. I'll talk about anything. I love talking. Uh, I mainly love talking to you people. Not you, Terry. You're... I don't like you at all. You smell weird. Uh, it's just a shower. Just take a shower, dude. You, we're in pandemic times. No one's taking showers. They wait a while. Speaking of, today's my shower day. I showered four days ago. Today is the shower day. So I gotta go take a shower, wash my butt. Always wash your butt. 
if I can impart any knowledge onto anyone out there, I need to end this one. I don't want to end on always wash your butt, but if I have to, I will. Always wash your butt. I'm just